Welcome to the What It Takes Barger video series. I am your host, Eric Barger. Box Culvert, What It Takes by BargerAndSons.com Barger and Sons' disciplined operations yield the same high quality results time after time. All Barger Box Culvert is manufactured to meet ASTM C1433 and or 1577 applications. Cooper E80 design specification for railroad applications are also available. Barger Box Culvert is offered in a number of different styles including monolithic, three-sided, and crown and base. Cleaning is the life of the form and essential for maximum product performance. The inner core of the form is built to meet the required box cover dimensions. The pallet joint, or female joint, is placed around the bottom of the inner core with great attention to detail. Release agent is then applied to the form in a thin layer. This helps the concrete release from the metal during product stripping. The lift pins are placed on the form. Lift pins are generally placed on the inside for product stripping and the outside for lifting in the working position. Preparing the rebar cage involves cutting rebar to specific lengths and bending rebar that meets engineering specification. The rebar reinforcement is placed around the form's inner core. Adding wheel spacers and rod end wraps ensures that the rebar has the proper embedment and correct concrete cover. A pre-pour inspection for each box cover is performed before it is poured. It is a thorough inspection process that helps ensure a correct finished product. The outer jacket is placed around the form. The header joint, or male joint, is placed and fitted with great attention to detail. A second pre-pour inspection is conducted and the product is ready to pour. The batch operator calls for three cubic yards of concrete on the mixer panel. The panel precisely weighs and batches the exact amount of raw material. The coarse and fine aggregates are dispensed from their own drop bins onto the main conveyor. At the transition hopper, a 90 degree turn is achieved and away the aggregates go directly into the mixer. Cement and fly ash are delivered through screw conveyors that drop into a separate way bin directly on top of the mixer. Three minutes later, the concrete is thoroughly mixed and ready to be dumped in the transport bucket. Concrete is then poured into the box culvert form. To ensure proper concrete quality, concrete temperature, slump, density, air content, and strengths are tested daily. 18 hours later, the concrete has reached stripping strength and is strong enough to remove from the form. The inner core jackets and outer jackets are then removed. The box culvert is then lifted and carried outside the plant building to the outside designated box culvert working area. The box culvert is carefully rotated 90 degrees into the working position by a skill crane operator. A soft stone base ensures the product will not be damaged. The post pour inspection is completed after manufacturing, further ensuring the same high quality results time after time. A unique barcode is attached to the product providing complete traceability of the product's manufacturing, testing, and delivery history. The data is entered into our Quality Assurance Tracking and Inventory Management Program, Precast It. The product is lifted and carried to the yard by a fork truck, where it will be stored until delivery to another satisfied Barger & Sons customer. Thanks for joining us for another episode of What It Takes by BargerAndSons.com.